Well, hello, my friendly shoppers, and welcome back to my channel. This is Gina. Now, we're going to someplace new this morning. We are going to check out Wenco Foods. Yeah, I had to park a little ways back, and honestly, I have never been in this store. I've heard so much about it. It's open 24 hours a day. It's an employee-owned company. So let's go ahead and come with me and let's check it out together. Now, if you've been to Winco, let me know what your opinion is. And again, like I said, this is my first time. And there's a lot of great stores and it's just, you know, sometimes we all have our favorites. Now we see the pine cones. They smelled really great. Those cinnamon pine cones. And we've got some firewood for $4.98. It's actually a pretty good price. The Hostess Halloween Snacks, $2.28. Oh, the Ding Dongs and the Tweakies. And what else we have over here? Ooh, scary cakes. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk right in. Now I do see how they kind of have, there's a path that, you know, they want you to kind of go through everything. And they have all their little, these are extra savings, all the little sweets. And so I'm going to stay really strong. Bakery cookies for $5.48. Snickerdoodle cookies with peanut butter cookies. Um, not, not a bad price for, look how many cookies there are. And we have, look like some cupcakes for $3.98. Still the haunted houses, there's still a lot of haunted houses to do, $7.98. Yeah, I got the cookie house. Oh, these are so fun. Oh, the M&M ones are cute. They're, they look smaller, but that's fine, especially if you don't have the room for it. And all the chips, all the Lay's. Well, there's so many different Lay's now. $4.38. The Wavy. The Wavy really is very nostalgic for me. I always remember just anytime there's a family gathering, there was always the Wavy chips. <laughs> and with the French, with that French onion dip. Yes, yeah, so good. Lightly salted. Now that's awesome. The apple cider. Oh, looks like a gallon for $4.88. I really am loving how neat now mind you this is early in the morning but the presentation well here we go count chocola the booberry still the fruit brute <laughs> snack pack puddings a dollar 18 again I'm really just impressed by the presentation and every, everything so far looks really clean and again like I said I'm coming in here this is just super early <laughs> And this is the time I really do love to shop. There's less people, and a lot of times the stores are just fresh. So, you know, everything's just freshly put out. $3.48, got some seasonings. I see some barbecue sauce. And then, yep, the chunky soup, $1.98. And what kind of flavors do we have? Chili mac, baked potato, cheddar, and bacon bits. Now, I do make most most of the time I make my own soup now I've purchased a lot of soups from Costco and I haven't had this brand for oh, many years and they still have a lot of pumpkins so if you are still needing all of, I mean a lot of stores I've seen a lot of pumpkins still and oh they even have some home items okay and let's see how ooh, gosh, really this that burgundy is really beautiful Let's see, the faux fur, 50 by 60. And then you have the chevron pillows and throws. Oh, now that's nice. It comes with the pillow as well. $14.98. Oh, these are super soft as well. So really nice colors that they come in. And yeah, I'm, so far, honestly, I'm really impressed. The store is just, when I'm walking it, this store is huge huge it's it's okay it's almost the size of like Costco maybe even <laughs> larger than Costco I don't know I would have to get the square footage to get all the details but it's just for a grocery store in Costco everything's bulk and so all the displays are huge and so sometimes you don't really realize how big Costco is but this store, you know, it's a regular grocery store. And you got all your foil pans. It's such a great selection. And the price. And I like those. those come with the lid. House shoes, $9.98. Very interesting. Now here it's for the men's. Not a bad price. 
And yeah, I know now Trader Joe's is like around the corner. I go to Trader Joe's all the time. So you've been with me, you know, before. You see, I, you know, I do Trader Joe's every week. A lot, still a lot of Halloween items. It's amazing. Last year it seems like Halloween. The last two years. And it seems like a lot of Halloween sold out so quick. And I know there was all this uh, shipping issues. And this year, this still seems to be, at this time, especially, you know, Halloween, it's just in a few days. And there's still a lot of Halloween items. But these are actually pretty cute. That's $11.88. And then that one's $4.98. The little blue vampire boy. Now those ghosts are cute. Oh, the little I see. I see more back there, as well. And then of course your Thanksgiving items. Thankful, nineteen dollars and eighty-eight cents. So these prices, especially if I'm comparing like with Home Goods or with Hobby Lobby, where you can get a lot of this decorative, the prices are a bit high for this store. But as far as when it coming to the food. The food seems to be reasonable. Now, I don't know how this place is on a weekend. It's, and, and I, yeah, sometimes some of these stores are night and day when it comes to the weekday versus the weekend. And that's why I love doing a lot of my shopping during the weekdays because the weekends, yes, the weekends do get packed. And I, and I understand why. Now, I have not seen candy like this where you buy it in bulk and weight it. Oh my goodness, this really, this is very nostalgic for me. And those are those caramels. <laughs> I remember as a kid, you just see this and you just like, you know, it's like the greatest thing to see. And $3.98 pumpkin spice caramels. We have vanilla caramels. And then what's, what are these? Oh, caramel apple caramels. <laughs> and oh, these. Those peanut butter bars, those little peanut butter bars, three dollars and ninety-eight cents. Yes, as like I said, as a kid, I would just look at this and just, and you would think, and I always thought like, as an adult, I'm just gonna buy all of this. And of course, you know, that's like a kid thing. But you know, as we get older, you're like, oh, we're good. <laughs> and you got the bags under there. You got caramel apple kits. Now the toilet tissue, thirteen dollars and ninety-eight cents for twelve rolls. So it's about an average price. Now, I was told that the Winco is known for all their bulk. And so far we saw the bulk candy, the bulk nuts. This is actually really cool because some of these nuts are not the easiest to come by. And like hazelnuts. Now, I could go and buy any chocolate with hazelnuts, but actually finding the hazelnut, oh, this takes me back. I used to get so many of these. The Sugar Daddies. That's that really hard caramel. <laughs> and the Tootsie Pops. Those those I still see. But yeah, the Sugar Daddies. I haven't seen those in a long time. And oh, these. The gum. Now, if you have chewed any of these, let me know. I think when I was a teenager, the clove. I'm not the hugest gum because it kind of hurts my jaw. But the clove was one of my favorites when I was a kid. And here's some more, all the natural bulk foods. I am just, I'm blown away of how much, now I know sometimes some of this, like, you know, some people get a little afraid that people are dipping their hands in there. And honestly, when I was here, <laughs> I just saw it a couple of times, but, and it's just, it's just kids and you get excited. So I get a little hesitant with some of these bulk items. But the ones on top, I actually really do like. I mean, there is just, everything is in bulk. Now, $4.78 for the chocolate orange sticks. Those are good. Peanut butter mini cups for $4.48. Look at all this candy. There is so much. And this, this area was just really cool. Bulk foods, a natural way to buy food pastas now and honestly this is actually a really good idea because if you it really depends if you are you know a small family or you're a larger family you could buy what you need and I mean 
But I, one thing I like about this is that sometimes some of these pastas are ones that I haven't seen before. A fresh ground peanut butter, honey roasted, natural like the cashew butter. And the price of the cashew was $6.01. The peanut butter is $2.28. And this is per pound. It's actually not a bad price, especially if you want freshly ground. This is so cool. And what are these? They go in. Oh, extra virgin olive oil. Now they do have the ingredients on there. It's really light. But this is so... I have never seen so many beef flavor. This is dog treats. This is animal food right here. <laughs> oh, the pig's here. This <laughs> poor guys. And here we go. Bird, okay, bird food. Again, if you have been into Winco, because I want to say, I believe it is all around, like nationwide. This is so interesting. And I know it's not in all the towns. Like my parents have to go, they have to go to the next town to go to Winco. But my, I know my parents do like it. And what is this over here? Is this more seed? Parrot food. <laughs> Parrot food, guinea pig food, rabbit food, cat food. Well, I'll tell you, if I go to any other like regular grocery store, I don't know if I could find like parrot food or guinea pig food. This is dog food. And yeah, look at more of bulk. This is all coffee. Actually, it smelled really great over here. And tea, your loose tea. I like these containers. And <laughs> check out these flavors. I'm still having a hard time finding Darjeeling tea. And I'm looking for a licorice spice tea. And but I mean the coffee is pumpkin spice or the pumpkin latte. And there's grinders right there. French vanilla, French nut, yeah. Oh, Irish cream. Oh, that sounds really good. Salted butterscotch. These, oh, maple bourbon. Yeah, these, these coffee, dark chocolate cherry. That sounds really interesting. I mean, look how fun, look how much fun. I could be here, I would be here for a long time. Now, $7.98 a pound. And it, with today's prices, it's not a bad price. And uh, yeah, you have your bags right there. You have your grinder right there. Or you just take it home and grind it, whatever you're more comfortable with. More pasta. And like again, this part of the store, this is just, I'm just, again, I'm just blown away. Because I've gone to Sprouts. Sprouts has some bulk items, but nothing nothing compared to this like look at the, all the different rice bamboo rice oh this is this is so interesting you could try so many different things and the beans now i remember as a kid my grandmother getting beans like this and then the barley the quinoa i mean wow there's so many different types well, now this this is kind of this is really interesting to me. Sometimes I've gone I've I've gone through recipes because once in a while I love to challenge myself to cook, and some of the items you don't find, I think I'm gonna come here and check and look for them. I mean, the low price cauliflower crust three dollars and forty eight cents. I'm definitely gonna have to take my husband here. I think he would he would love it because he loves places like this where he loves checking out something new. And the pizzas, all the cheese. Let's see if we get kind of an idea of a price. Here's that Dubliner, $4.98 for each of those. But that's an average price in the stores. Costco, obviously Costco does have some best price when it comes to Dubliner cheese. And then their produce, you know, they got their chicken already. And it, to be honest, like I said, it smelled really good. $11. Ooh, orange chicken. Now, I've never seen that in fresh foods like that. Now, frozen turkeys, $1.58 a pound. And yeah, we know about, like, there's the turkeys, like a lot of, um, yeah, that boot, the boot, <laughs> the bird flu really got them. Poor things. 
and I know it's gonna I know it hurt the farmers this year oven ready this is at Genio oven ready now I've I've honestly I've gotten these not for Thanksgiving but I've gotten this just like for you know sometimes Sunday meal we like to make a bigger meal and so those are actually pretty good now I don't see the price of it and but look at look how huge the store is it is huge and so I'm definitely gonna come back and check more of it out. It's like they need benches right in the middle of it to take a break. <laughs> but I found more selection of teas. And so I am, am looking for Darjeeling and Licorice Spice. And boom, Licorice Spice. Okay, $2.78, that is a deal. This is one of my favorite teas. It's caffeine free, it has that natural sweetness. Oh. I really do enjoy that. But there are a lot of teas. We saw like some of the fresh teas, and then here are the box teas. It's a lot to choose from. Again, this store, I, I had a blast. I really did. So everybody, thank you so much for watching and joining with me my first time in Winco. Take care, and I'll talk to you later.